So the new BMW iX3 also comes with a improved parking assistant, including a revamped app. And we're gonna give you a demo how that works. I here with me, Simon. He's responsible for the BMW app. He's gonna walk us through a scenario. Now we're gonna get outside the car and show you some other features as well. Absolutely, thank you very much. So at BMW, we're really trying to embrace this new digital age, this digital platform, also some offer something for our, let's say, digital natives. Sure, yeah? Gen Z's. Something to play around, Gen Z's, exactly. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is walk you through two scenarios. So first of all, we're gonna um, park in the parking space, and okay. then I'm gonna show you a few more features in the My BMW okay. app that we can so offer. we can here. walk slowly, and then you can tell me more maybe exactly. about this. Exactly, so drive very slowly. Please also do something here. Um, we have a new button, yeah, this new, let's say, shy tech as we also call it. Mm -hmm. Um, P? This parking button, the P, okay. this is what we want to activate. We only show this button when it's necessary, for example, on slow speeds, like right now when you want to do some parking. So it's you context see, aware, basically. Absolutely. Okay. You see in the center screen now that it has changed and it's already scanning for parking spots left and right okay. yeah, that are potentially where you want to park in the future. So I'm going to ask you to go in slow speed. Okay. So what it's doing now, left and light, right again, looking for parking spaces. We can drive a little bit quicker. Okay. Okay, so previously what we actually did was we looked at the vehicles that were parked on the side, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's how we found parking spots. What's new with the iX3 right here is that we actually look also for lines that indicate parking spaces. Gotcha. So it's way easier to park now. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you to continue again. So, okay. It already saw one car on the right, perfect. Got it, so the one right there, basically. Yes, exactly, Got it. right. So it even tells you the distance, I guess, where you started to the car. So I started here, there was 27 meters to the car. Super. It's kind of cool. That is cool. Okay, so keep keep going. Let's continue until it finds those parking spaces and we're gonna wanna park in, in between those vehicles. Okay. As you see, it already found one. That's not the one we want to park in, so we're just gonna continue driving. Okay. And the vehicle selects these parking spaces by itself. Gotcha. So I can see what's scanning the other car. And the second so there one. is a white gap that's, that's, so there is like a gap that's wide enough to be able to park, got it, okay. Perfect, super. Now we're gonna just continue going. driving. Okay. A few more meters until that parking space is there, it's already shown up, but we're gonna do some more until it's selected automatically. Perfect, now stop. Awesome, Perfect. good. Now what we're gonna do is, we just wanna park with the My BMW app right now. You have okay. seen this other one uh, in a previous event. So how about you just tap that small button uh, right on the there, bottom on the with bottom that right there. iPhone, exactly. Okay, so that not, we're not, what to we're the gonna phone, do now, basically. correct. We're gonna hand over to the smartphone mm -hmm. and continue parking. Now okay. just unbuckle. Unbuckle. And you will put it in park automatically? Maybe you do it in park, uh, put okay. it in park, yes, Got please. It. And just step outside the okay. vehicle. So Sounds good. Continue here. Okay, let's do that. What's the next step? All right, so why are we even doing this? Convenience feature, you could get out the vehicle without um, watching any other cars. The parking spot's quite narrow. Now we can just resume this parking maneuver by tapping and holding this button right here. Because okay. you can see the vehicle's just starting. This is a dead man switch, it's a safety feature, so that if I let go, something happens to me, the vehicle will automatically stop. At the same time, the vehicle is scanning the surrounding. Yeah, so if you walk in between and walk in front of the vehicle, that's also okay, the vehicle will just stop. A few more adjustments, I'm assuming. Another requirement that we have you have to be within six meters or about 18 feet of the vehicle so that you can actually see what you're doing here. Gotcha. There we go. And we're done. Okay, all right, very cool. And now you can, same thing, if you want to get out of the car, you can be in the car while you're parking by yourself, but you can also be outside the car, man, like maneuvering with this. Right. And you can move exactly. it in, in and out and do you, whatever you, can you want. You pull it back it. out, etc. Yeah, gotcha. right. Okay. Um, so if it's fine with you, I'd like to I'll walk you through a few yeah, other features. Absolutely. Perfect. So let's have this scenario right here. You just parked your vehicle, you're having a good meal with a good friend in a restaurant. Um, with this new platform, we can now offer actually advanced remote functions, yeah, which require proud um, of. Customers have asked for these features and we can implement those now, which is quite Sounds nice. Good. So let's see. Um, so let's pretend you're having a good time at the restaurant and you know you're leaving in 10 to 15 minutes. I'm trying to find it right here. Now you can just open the My BMW app and as usual, just hit the climatize button. Yeah, it's quite hot in Spain, South Texas, wherever you are, okay. wherever you might be. This is not new, right? However, what is new is a customer wish, namely to show the goal temperature right here. And also, you're now able to adjust this temperature if you like. Yeah, I like it a little bit more chilly. Not sure how you're feeling today. Okay. I'm feeling um, hot today. Feeling hot today. If in colder regions, 
the vehicle decides or we decide to heat the vehicle, we can also set this to auto and then the vehicle will probably adjust the seat heating a little bit. Hitting done then sends the new temperature to the vehicle. Okay. And what's the timer, if I may ask? That's the amount that uh, the climatization is pretty much running. Gotcha. So it's 30, okay. on for 30 minutes. Okay. That's pretty much where we say at any temperature, it will reach the goal uh, destination. In 30 minutes. The goal Entirely. temperature, correct. And we see the new goal temperature right here. Very cool. Good. So let's say right now that, um, again, you're enjoying your, your meal, you're yeah. finished, you have some leftover, okay? We also want to support the basic functions in the My BMW app, or the essentials, as we say. Mm -hmm. um, we're also bringing this new panel yeah, to customers. Um, and the new thing, actually, in November, the, uh, the app release, is that this panel opens automatically when you're next to the vehicle. Okay. So just a single tap will then open the trunk, as we can see right back there. You can also stop it yeah, in case you see, oops, it's going to hit the tree. Gotcha. No problem, just hit that you again. You can stop it, okay. Got Very it. Cool. Now, we have to be a bit closer okay. for this one right here. In this same panel, in this same remote control panel right here, mm -hmm. if you swipe to the right, yeah, we have this all new functionality that we can offer with this platform, which is functions for the passenger. Okay. And yeah, so not only will the driver have fun with the car, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, uh, we know this is fun, um, but the passenger can also now control, let's say media, um, climate functions, as you can say. Mm -hmm. Increase the volume right here. That's a beach party mode, as we like to call it at the office. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, climate controls. Can you see this? Yep. You can increase the temperature here. You can set different, let's say, modes that you want as the passenger. Increase the fan speed mm -hmm. and even turn on the seat even if you want. Um, and if you're not the passenger, the front passenger, then you can just uh, change it to whatever seat that you're sitting in. Gotcha. And adjust that. Okay. Right. At this time, I also want to do a quick preview, actually. Sure. So in next year, we're, we want to embrace, let's say, all touch points that the customers have. So first of all, with this November release, we're releasing uh, trunk, uh -huh. yeah, trunk in the Bluetooth range. If you look here real quick, yeah, we're gonna have to look at the Apple Watch. Sounds good. If we open the watch app right here, yeah, which is this vehicle, as uh -huh. we can see, and scroll down, and this is the new thing. First of all, it's a redesign yeah, with iOS 16 elements and also tapping right here will also open your trunk. Again, tapping again will just stop it if you don't want that. So that's something new that we can offer. And now this okay. is the actually the preview that I want to give you. We are implementing Siri functions. Okay. We're bringing that to the iPhone, which includes a bunch of redundancies. So the trunk function is still only to open but not to close due to regulations that's, probably. That's uh, not yet. Yes, correct. Okay. We're on that. We know that that's a functionality that users want. Um, and if you see this right here in the control center, you will have the option to also put that here. Okay. It opened the trunk quite conveniently. So that's where I like cut. to put it. And other users like the uh, speech functions. Okay. So that you can just open the trunk with the Siri. So Siri, so you can ask Siri to open or close the trunk. Exactly. Let's gotcha. do that one more time. Again, it's exclusive feature, feature preview. So we just implemented trunk for now. Sure. But that's one thing I do want to show you real quick. Let's see the other feature. Okay. Hey Siri, open the trunk of my BMW. And it works out. Very nice. And this, of course, enables future use cases. If you have both hands full in the future, mm -hmm. that's quite useful. Okay, so that was a quick rundown of that. I guess, uh, when, when is this rolling out, the new updates? Um, the watch features, okay. yeah, so the trunk will be mm -hmm. this November. Okay. And the Siri and the remote, or the, the control center mm -hmm. and the action button, this will roll out next year. I can't give you more gotcha. details on that. Okay, well, Simon, thank you so much for the details. Really appreciate it. Perfect, thank you very thank much. Thank you.